Star Wars fans have had it kind of rough when it comes to VR over the last four years. The only actual Star Wars experience was the Rogue One mission that came free with Battlefront. And other than that, if you wanted to show off your lightsaber skills, you were forced to do that not against waves of stormtroopers, but against thousands of blocks flying at you rhythmically. So with the announcement of Vader Immortal, a formerly Oculus exclusive coming to PlayStation VR, Star Wars fans finally have something to be excited about. E3, first mate on the windfall. Hi. A th a th Don't move, scum! The first thing you should know about Vader Immortal is that it's not really a game per se, more of an interactive, almost two-hour experience. It downloads as three separate games on your PS4, making the story feel less than cohesive when moving from chapter to chapter. But it's a story worth experiencing. You and your droid co-pilot Zoe, who somehow escaped the confines of Racket Fury, get captured by the Empire and brought to Mustafar, where Darth Vader has built his fortress. And while your initial motivation is to simply escape, things quickly get much more complicated. It's a story that Star Wars fans will absolutely love, but even if you have only the most basic understanding of the lore, it's still entertaining the whole way through. Along the way, you'll wield lightsabers, learn to use the Force, fire blasters, and meet an assortment of interesting characters. And for the most part, it's a pretty good-looking game. Certain backgrounds look like low-res JPEGs, but your immediate surroundings and all the characters around you have been given a lot of attention, which, not surprisingly, extends to the soundtrack and voiceovers as well. Marching horde. Lady Corvax's sentinel army. <laughs> What's disappointing though is that even with all the comfort settings turned off, you're still relegated to click turning and teleportation. There was a real missed opportunity here to make you feel like the hero of the movie and allow you to walk side by side with Vader and your new friends while listening to their conversations. But instead you're forced to stay behind them like a dog on a leash and click 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 to keep up. There are quite a few segments where you're standing on moving ships or climbing from place to place, and those areas feel great, making the switch back to teleportation that much more jarring. It doesn't help that there are a series of weird bugs that also rear their ugly heads on every playthrough. Sometimes the audio glitches out, Definitely. the game never seems to know exactly where you are, and sometimes throws you into the wrong position in-game, or so far away from the menu screen that you have to quit and restart the game to continue. And no, holding options to recalibrate doesn't fix any of these issues. Oh, and as a bonus, your wrists are always pointing in a direction where your arms could never be and the in-game hilts are about 5 degrees off from the angle of the move controllers themselves. While the campaign was certainly fun by its own right, I think the real star of the show here are the three combat training dojos. They take the skills you learn during the story, give you a health bar and a time limit, and then put you to the test. The first dojo starts off extremely slow, but once things heat up, it gets insanely addictive. You can reflect shots that are fired at you back at your opponents with your sabers, use the force to initiate traps, dual-wield lightsabers and hurl them at your enemies, toss stormtroopers aside, and steal their blasters. But it's the freedom to take these levels down however you want that really makes them exciting. Getting three stars on each level requires a ton of work, but the work pays off with unlockable lightsabers, gloves, and trophies. It will take us to the hangar and your ship, but we need to override the security. Even with its issues, Vader Immortal is still a must-have for Star Wars fans. It feels like an essential story that needed to be told, and was actually told really well. It's extremely linear, but that's kind of the point, telling a very specific Star Wars story with all the atmosphere, music, and sound effects you'd expect. And even after the story ends, you'll get hours and hours of exciting gameplay from the training dojos. Hopefully we'll get some patches to fix some of the more serious issues, and with any luck, an update for full locomotion. But if you need your Star Wars fix while waiting for squadrons, I highly doubt you'll be holding out for a patch. We better move before any more guards arrive. Ship. We gotta find a way down there. Quickly, let's move! Ah. No, no. This place will be swarming with troopers in seconds. This is 